Hi everyone, I'm Sean Ritchie and I'm the CTO of Meriton Cloud. Welcome to my first video from our Tech Talk series. And as the name suggests, in these videos, I'm going to be covering things from a technical angle. But you're going to start to see more content from us, Meriton Clouds, in 2021. Um, and we're going to have content that covers technical overviews um, and deep dives but also some business content as well which is going to be really cool so in this video i wanted to talk about the uh, it frustrations of modern businesses and how microsoft helps address these with their really cool windows virtual desktop service and where we're going to start well we're going to start with covid and the pandemic has changed the way that it has to operate and serve their customers the end users um, and as everyone knows um, in most cases employees are no longer working in a traditional office environment and this poses a new set of security challenges for business and it of course um, collaboration and meetings, they've all gone virtual and this is placing a much greater reliance on the technology and of course IT support. Uh, companies that are lucky to be hiring new employees face some unique onboarding challenges. IT now need to ship that hardware out to new staff and guide them through a remote setup an onboarding procedure and this is uh, this this can be slow and cumbersome um, especially if the hardware needs to be shipped to a support engineer first before it can even go out to the employee and obviously the same implies for companies that use external consultants um, and need to give access to their IT systems as a lot of businesses do. Um, believe it or not, mergers and acquisitions are still hot at the moment in some industries, especially the financial services industry. And consolidating companies IT into the buying company is a complex process and it always has been. But providing a large number of employees access to the new company systems securely and in uh, a short space of time is particularly challenging in the current environment and uh, many businesses still struggling with legacy applications that can't be modernized to work natively in the cloud this has been the case for a while it is going to be like that for a few years to come uh, and believe it or not some companies still relying on windows 7 which has now been out of support for nearly a year and this leaves customers exposed to security vulnerabilities from these unpatched operating systems. But Windows Virtual Desktop can help address these challenges by uh, giving employees remote access to a Windows desktop running in the Azure cloud. But uh, it's not just for desktops. Also, um, you can use it for applications that will run seamlessly as if they were installed on the local device. So with WVD, employees can be quickly uh, onboarded and give them access to the desktop or applications that they need from their own device. And the same obviously applies for contractors and partner access as well. And so what does this mean? It means it negates the need for IT to do that shipping of devices to new employees or partners and this massively speeds up the onboarding process. And, uh, and best of all, the apps and the data remain in the cloud um, and they're secure. And because WVD is cloud hosted, it can be quickly scaled up and scaled down to meet the demands of uh, things like short-term projects or temporary staff and those mergers and acquisitions that I was talking about just before. And this same functionality um, can also be used um, to service 
variable shift patterns such as uh, what you get in call centers or like a factory workforce. And finally, Microsoft has committed to providing critical updates for Windows 7 running in Azure. Uh, and this is really cool because it gives customers that additional time to modernize their applications and get onto Windows 10. So these are just some of the reasons why I think WVD is a really great solution and why you should be considering it as part of your IT roadmap in 2021. So in the next video, uh, I'll dig deeper into um, some technical features of Windows Virtual Desktop. So please join me then. And thanks very much for watching this video.